वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ द क्लाइमेट सीरीज विच इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर इन योर क्लास नाइन्थ एन सी आर टी जोग्राफी इन पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू वी बेसिकली डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट एंड वॉट आर द फैक्टर्स दैट डिटरमाइन द वेदर कंडीशन ऑफ अ प्लेस एंड वी टॉक अबाउट इंडिया इन पर्टिकुलर पार्ट थ्री वी वुड डिस्कस बेसिकली अबाउट द ऑनसेट एंड रिट्रीट ऑफ मानसून and uh, part 4 uh, we will talk about monsoon in details and in part 5 we'll talk about the seasons i am dividing this chapter into so many parts because i feel this is a very important chapter in developing the fundamentals of geography so uh, you know keeping it short and crisp uh, would be more impactful also if you have any doubts kindly comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel to get regular updates so let's start about the indian monsoon so indian monsoon basically you know it occurs from 20 degree north to 20 degree south in the tropical area it is basically called the seasonal reversal of wind system so as we discussed in part 1 or part 2 that monsoon derives its origin from the arab word mausam which the sailors gave it because that wind system which suddenly reversed helped them in their you know journey so this seasonal reversal of wind system is nothing but the monsoon so generally which wind system we have we discussed in the last part it is the north east trade winds which are very steady and very gradual so suddenly these wind systems are reversed and there comes another wind system which is more pulsating more vigorous and not steady like the trade winds it is called the monsoon so when this trade winds enters into the indian subcontinent which it does basically from the southern part we call it the burst of monsoon why is it called the burst of monsoon because suddenly the normal rain increases drastically so it is almost like a burst okay so there are two branches which is the arabian sea branch of the monsoon and the bay of bengal branch we can uh, see it in the map so uh, the monsoon enters from this side and then it branches off into two branch one is the arabian sea branch because here is the arabian sea the second is the bay of bengal branch because here is bay of bengal so as you can see this branch moves in this direction and 10th of june it reaches mumbai around 10th of june okay and the other bay of bengal branch 10th of june it reaches around assam so the entire country gets rainfall either from this branch or from that branch these two branches coincide somewhere here in the western part delhi gets its rainfall from the bay of bengal branch be very clear with it okay so um these two branches you know cover the almost um, every part of the country and bring in lot of rainfall so we covered what is indian monsoon where it occurs how it is different from the normal trade winds and how it merges in the northwestern part now coming to the withdrawal so this what we talked about is the entering of the monsoon which is around april may time period but now we also should know about the withdrawal because this is not the natural wind so obviously this wind system which has entered the continent will also leave the continent so that the normal north eastern trade winds would again prevail okay so in this map if you can see again after the monsoonal rainfall is over these winds are retreating back that means they are going back which means that after they go back the normal conditions would again prevail so the retreat of monsoon is not like the burst of monsoon which is sudden and you know very vigorous it is more or less very gradual and it begins in the northwestern states okay because these are the states which receive the monsoonal onset of rainfall very late so obviously from here it starts leaving the place it begins in northwestern states by early september and by december the monsoon 
totally leaves the country and also remember that by december we have the winter monsoon so onset is basically from the island states from south to north they move and it is in the last week of april to may the withdrawal of monsoon or when monsoon is actually leaving us is from north to south it is in first week of december could be jan also then comes the winter monsoon right now how can monsoon be seen as a unifying bond so what do you mean by a unifying bond something that unites us so how can monsoon unite us because some places get so much rainfall some places get re less rainfall some people are not dependent on monsoons but still how does monsoon unite us so the answer is it provides rhythmic cycle of seasons so if there were no monsoons we would not be having you know regular four seasons that we have every single year many countries do not have such seasonality and it is because of monsoon that we know that summer has stopped rainy season has begun rainy season has stopped winter season has started so monsoon kind of becomes the marker of the four seasons okay also it is unifying because it is a social and cultural unifier because lot of the life revolves around monsoons you must be thinking we are in urban areas we go to school our parents work in services or business we have nothing to do with agriculture so how does it affect us so if you know that our life is intrinsically related to that of the farmers the produce that they bring for us so in different parts of the country we celebrate harvesting seasons sowing seasons so these seasons are related to monsoon if there is no proper monsoon the seasonality of cropping pattern gets disrupted and there is food crisis lot of festivals in the southern states are specifically linked to monsoon and the time when monsoon happens okay so is monsoon the only unifying bond no there are other unifying bond also like the himalayas which protect us from the extreme cold winds and bring us a warm temperature because of the tall height second is the peninsula plateau where because there are three sides you know water so there is a moderate kind of temperature over here so monsoon how it is a unifying factor because it kind of gives a similar type of four seasons throughout the country yes places over here may be too cold places over here may receive more rainfall or places over here may receive more rainfall but still there are four seasons there may be you know highs and lows but the four seasons remain very constant i hope this um section was useful to you so what we did is basically we talked about the indian monsoon how it comes to our subcontinent with a seasonal reversal of wind system it is pulsating and how it bursts and is not gradual we talked about the two branches which is the arabian sea branch and the bay of bengal branch and how they merge together now that they have entered obviously they have to withdraw from the continent from the withdrawal part we see that it is not from the southern part it is basically from the western part which is also known as the retreat of the monsoon which is a more gradual process then we talked about monsoon as a unifying bond in terms of social life cultural life agricultural life and seasonality that we have we also talked about the himalayas and the peninsula plateau also serving as unifying bond if you have any doubts in this section kindly comment i would definitely get back to you i would come with the part 3 this is part 3 i'll come with part 4 in next two days which would talk about the reasons of monsoons in extreme details thank you